After I do my abs every morning, I come downstairs to feed my animals. I make my dog's food, and I got to prepare my horse's food and feed my chickens. And I give my dogs egg yolks because, one, it's good for their coat, and two, it keeps them healthy. And I don't eat them in my eggs every morning. I don't eat egg whites. While I'm preparing their food, I take my vitamins, and I sip on my BCAAs right after my ab workout. We'll go feed the dogs. And this is the dish for one of the dogs. And I gotta give the other one a treat or she'll scream bloody murder if she doesn't get it. And normally I just feed my dogs, my chickens, and my horses. But recently I have a newly acquired animal, a cat, that comes up and sits in my lap every morning while I'm waiting on my horses to eat. So we're gonna feed him some food. I think it's him anyway. Okay, she's gonna get her treat. I gotta toss it. She got it. Now we'll go feed the other one. I got to him his treat too. Cause he's over there waiting and barking and I'm behind schedule this morning. And there's my chickies. Chickies. Got to any eggs today. Oh, there's an egg in there. Check the chickies right now. I saw an egg. Let's see how many they laid this morning. And we gotta move their coop around so they have some grass to peck at. They like to scratch a lot. We got any eggs? Okay, you guys aren't doing your job. Get out of that egg. Don't you be eating that. You don't pecking at it. Get out of there. Can't turn them loose because the hawks and the fox could get my chickens, so they stay cooped up. Now we're going to pick up the chicken coop. That's where my muscles come in handy. We have to move the chicken coop so they have fresh grass to eat and scratch at and get bugs. And we keep the rooster separated because he beats the girls up. And I don't like that. Now we're gonna go get chicken feed, fill up their feeder, and give them fresh water. I give them fresh water every day. After I got my arms warmed up, moving that chicken coop and carrying water and chicken feed, we're gonna go up and down the hill and feed the horses. I'm gonna get some cardio and get my legs warmed up. This is so important to stay physically fit. I'm 66 years old and I do this every day and before I started doing this I had trouble with my knees going up and down this hill feeding these animals and since I got physically fit they don't bother me nearly as much as they used to so it's a good idea to stay healthy as long as you can and stay fit keeps me active keeps me going and I keep doing this every day I don't see a blanket while they're eating I'm going to take a moment to contemplate today's events See if that kitty shows up for his uh, breakfast. I don't see him right now, but we'll see if he shows up. And we've got treats for the horses too when they're done eating. So I think about the landscape and the animals, and I think about what I have to do today, how much I have to get accomplished, what's coming up for the weekend. This is my private time to think and contemplate. It's peace and quiet. Aside from the birds and the dogs barking, but that's minor. Sitting in nature, kind of relaxing for a few moments while my horses eat. And when they're done, we'll give them their treats and we'll be done for the day.
I didn't see my kitty this morning. He didn't come around this morning, so I don't know if he's in the barn or out prowling around, but we'll be prepared for him tomorrow. I still have a bowl of kitty food for him whenever he decides to come sit in my lap like he did yesterday. This is the last nice day we're going to have. Feeling that sun beating on my back. It's nice and warm. Indian summer because tomorrow the weather's going to change and it's going to be nasty. Rain, temperatures dropping. Fall will officially be acting out tomorrow. Next to making my oatmeal, I'm going to finish my BCAAs and my vitamins. Then I'm going to fix my hair and I'm going to get ready for the gym and while I'm doing that I'm going to be contemplating the day's events. And no, I prefer you don't watch me eat. On my way to the gym, I'm going to do some legs today. Got my pump daddy here and my nitric oxide boost and my beetroot. Get my circulation going, get the blood flowing. Legs is always such a challenge and I may not be real ambitious today and don't seem to have a lot of energy but legs it is by the time I'm done I know I will have worked hard always push through never give up even when I'm tired and it's gonna be a great workout we're here at the gym now and it's time to do legs a lot of people don't like to do legs it's hard it's painful it's such a challenge it can be difficult but things in life are also hard and difficult and can hurt but that's the only way you make progress is by getting through the hurt the hard times you got to keep going and it will make you a better person in the end if you don't do it you're only going to come up against those obstacles later in life and it's still going to be hard and it's still going to be difficult and you're still going to have to try to do it. Sooner or later, you will get through it. And you'll be a better person in the end for it. After the gym, I normally have a protein shake in the car on my way home. Then when I get home, I have a meal. I eat. And after that, I sit down and answer your comments on Instagram, TikTok, social media. I try to get back to everybody. And after all of that, sometimes I'll sit down and read in the evening doing some self-improvement, but tonight we're making pumpkin spice protein cookies. 